Okay. Uh, what I want to show you is another example of uh, propagating your components. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to show you the uh, round wear plates on the back of the slide. Okay. So uh, the first thing you can do is you could analyze what you have there so you know the space you're working with and see that you're 16.688 inches long. Okay. And then a distance from here down to this corner, which tells you you're five and a quarter. Okay. So you know the space you're working in. I'm going to go ahead and include an assembly. So here's one of your own components. The uh, round wear plates. I'm choosing the uh, two and a half inch diameter, three eighths thick. Okay. You can uh, tab across to whatever uh, face you want to position it on. We're going to put it on the back face here. Just go ahead and select it. It asks you for the first alignment face or edge which is going to be this face, is what I'm going to choose for my first. And I'll say that I want to be 1.3125 off of that edge. For my second alignment edge, I'll say here. And for this one, we'll go 1.5. Okay, so it's positioned. I'll say stop. My next operation is to uh, perform the process. So it prompts me for the pocket. The pocket will go into this slide. The next operation will be the tapped hole. Okay, so I'll choose screw hole, face the drill, use some caution here to make sure you're not selecting the back of the wear plate tab and in fact make sure that you're picking the uh, pocket inside the slide and let it put the uh, tap hole process in there. Okay, so uh, our next step at this point would be to uh, BOM identify this component that you brought into your mold. Okay, so it's round wear plate. That's your code for it. I want to assign it to my action for my visualization, and I'll put it in the B side and I'll say that it's a supply component. Okay, next step is I'll just make the same color. So when I duplicate this, it'll stay the same color. I'll go ahead and duplicate it using a matrix program or uh, alignment. For my first direction, I'll choose this in that direction. I'll say OK. For the uh, total distance, I'll say that I want 13.5 inches, and I'll put five of them over that distance. For my second direction, I'll say it's this direction right here, um, maybe 2, two and 5 eighths, and a quantity of two. Subsequent operations, choose the layer you want it on, that defaults to the active level, and then select the parts to duplicate. All right, we can see that we've got a problem here because I don't want this one. So at this point, I would modify the elements, select any of them, and choose the operation that I want to modify, which is the matrix propagation. You have some options here now to adjust the uh, distances for distance one and distance two, as well as modify the number of instances you did for each direction you gave it. You also have an option here to exclude the instance. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that, and then choose the one I want to get rid of, and select OK. Now let's look at uh, putting the holes in for the rest of these wear plates. We'll go into our shapes command. I'll choose my propagation operation, and I'll select the propagation that I want to duplicate, be in the pocket first. Okay, it's asking you for the propagation. You could go ahead and choose, again, matrix, but why not just select an example that's already done. Okay, I have a problem. It's turned orange. I can see that it's the screw hole, and I know that the screw hole hasn't been propagated yet. So uh, it's asking for the reference face, no big deal. I can reconnect it to the bottom pocket face again, and then go ahead and propagate that using the same code as before. OK, so we're done. Uh, let's put all the wear plates on this slide. but we can go ahead and add it to the
rotated slide as well. Okay. Notice that since this slide's already been duplicated over, the process is updated. So all we need to do is make copies of our components. I'll go in again, say duplicate component. These have already been propagated, so I need to choose a, a accumulated transformation. Okay. I'll choose a uh, rotation. I'm at zero, so I can say about my Z. The rotation angle being 180 degrees. 180 degrees with a quantity of two. Again, choose subsequent operations. Make sure that your layer is active. Uh, you can select each one individually or just use your lasso. Uh, and go ahead and choose all the wear plates. Like that. Hit OK. And there they are. This is uh, something that's going to keep your file size down as well as it takes a lot less time than locating each wear plate individually.